Hey guys, it's Penny again. It's Friday, July 24th. In one of my videos, if it weren't my last video, the one thing that I told you is to expect the unexpected. So yesterday, you're aware that I got the breast MRI performed on my right breast, where we know we have I have a tumor that the biopsy confirmed is cancerous. So I just received a phone call from the radiologist, which is a little weird because usually I thought I would be hearing from my surgeon from then on. But anyhow, the radiologist who performed the breast MRI gave me a call and she told me that when they perform the test, they still look at both breasts. They saw two small pebble size that's not even detectable in a mammogram or ultrasound through the breast MRI and they want to biopsy those. Um, the thought behind that is, of course, to see whether or not it's cancerous as well and something that's so small that has never been picked up. So just imagine something that's not even the size of the little uh, circle on your smartphone that shows you what to look at to take a picture. So it's small like that, but nevertheless, it shows up. So they want to do an MRI guided um, biopsy and the frustration about that is that I thought I was done this week with all my tests and that finally next week would be the week of the care plan, which doesn't mean it can't be because of the next step is that the office will give me a call to try to get me in there ASAP. I'll go back, lay on my, my boobs again on my stomach in the compartments that I showed in my last video with getting the breast MRI and repeat the process, but they're going to actually do the needle core biopsy that I had done in the doctor's office where the needle is put in and there's a trigger at the other end that releases a um, piece of, I don't know what it is, that it just extracts tissue from there. So then they test that with pathology and then they're able to get a good picture. The, uh, the premise behind that is that, you know, we're going to, we know that we're going to end up excising and removing this tumor, which might mean removing this breast. So then the questions come up around remove the tumor only. Is that one a part of my treatment plan? Remove the whole breast and only have one breast removed or remove both breasts as a prophylaxis, even though this has no cancer at this time that we know of. And even if it does show that those are precancerous, it could be cystic, it could be a lot of different things. Um, there was some good news about it that there wasn't any blood flow like around this one that was feeding it because it needs it needs a feeding system. So this didn't show that. So I also have a history of having cystic breasts, but they want to make sure. So keep me in your prayers. It didn't floor me. I was actually able to have a coherent conversation with a doctor to go over what it really meant um, and to understand it better. And, you know, I don't have to make those choices right now as far as to keep one breast, no breast, part of breast. All I've got to do right now is just live and be happy and just praise God and thank God and trust him that when the time comes, he will give me what to do. And he will assemble again the right care team so that each person that is involved with me, every health um, care worker is a person who is just sweet and kind and I've been experiencing all of God's goodness that way he's made all the crooked places that I would have to step otherwise he's made them all straight and he's been a light unto my feet and a light a lamp unto my feet and a light into my pathway truly because I don't even know what to do sometimes and some it's just only through the grace of God that we're now talking on day 26 and I have all these things done already and accomplished where some women couldn't even afford to even get this test done. This could have been growing and growing, whatever it is, even a cystic. Um, so it could be benign or malignant. Could have been growing, I wouldn't have known. But our God, who was omniscient, he is all-knowing. He saw fit to see that and have them call me. So no, I don't feel like going back in the machine and doing that. But I guess it's just me and the Pandora gospel and God ministering to me again. So it's a setback. But it's not a let down because God, I'm still like Pastor told me in Psalm 27, lifting up my head because he said it's only time, two times that we have our heads down, either fear or shame, a 
I'm not ashamed of anything. And fear, no. I know fear is not of God. And in that same scripture, it said, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Who shall I be afraid of? So just want to give you an update. Keep me in your prayers and we'll see how the next step goes. So we're at step. It was step one was the CAT scan through my whole body. Step two was the breast MRI. We're at step 2.5. Okay. Take care and God bless.